This really has gone on long enough. Police brutality, institutionalized racism, blatant racism. Like I cannot sit here anymore and just take it. I have to say something. But before I get started on all of this, I know many of you are not here to be educated. Many of you are not here to learn about another perspective. You are here sitting and ready to get offended and looking to start an argument. You're not getting one out of me. I'm done with entertaining the negativity because this here is negativity. This is why I'm making this entire video. I'm just gonna say right now, take it how you want. This is not condemnation on all of you, but it definitely should convict almost all of you who can relate to most of the things that I'm about to describe and who should be able to hold yourselves responsible for a lot of the things that I'm about to describe. If you don't know what condemnation or conviction means, pause this video, ask Siri, educate yourself, come back and press play. What I'm telling you right now is not an attack. This is just simply the truth. And if the truth hurts you, take your pain elsewhere because I am not here to heal your wounds. You have been warned. Hearing things like, Why do you guys even have your own month like are you that full of yourselves that you need a whole month to celebrate yourselves talk about yourselves we have history class i mean isn't that what it's for i mean you people are just so full of yourselves i mean there are other races we don't have our own month like what makes you guys different than the rest of us hashtag all lives matter oh okay i didn't realize that you chose to walk the path frequently traveled of ignorance continue skipping on down bigot boulevard but i'm i'm afraid i'm gonna have to take a hard left I don't even acknowledge those kinds of questions and comments anymore because in this day and age, ignorance is actually a choice. We have every single resource at our disposal. There is absolutely no excuse for things like that to be said. So please feel free to display your ignorance at the Museum of Daftness, but there is no room for you here. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Even though it doesn't really seem to matter to many of you, it cannot and will not be swept under the rug like dust. It is still very necessary and still very relevant. Unlike the hashtag All Lives Matter movement. Let me just get something off my chest right now. Hashtag all lives matter is of Satan himself. And I truly don't mean that in any comedic way possible because I know there are people who would actually find that funny. Hashtag all lives matter is about as relevant as starting a trend that says hashtag all Canadians are Canadian. Like, okay, everyone already knows that. No one denied that. Black lives matter is not meant to insinuate that black lives matter more than other lives, but rather it is to scream to the mountaintops that black lives actually matter at all. Because clearly this isn't common knowledge. Do you think our brothers and sisters would be slaughtered day and night like wild animals if it was? Do you think that we would feel safe walking down the street if it was? Do you think that we would have the hashtag Black Lives Matter if it was? Because it's plain to see that our lives are just disposable to you people. Because I hope you actually get to realize Black Lives are in fact lives, which don't matter right now. So therefore, until black lives begin to matter, the hashtag all lives matter movement has absolutely no meaning, no truth, no value, no relevance, and no purpose. Because hashtag all lives matter is doing absolutely nothing to portray that all lives matter. The hashtag all lives matter movement, sorry, 
movement. This nonsense isn't going anywhere. It is quite stagnant actually. The hashtag all lives matter mantra exists only to quiet the hashtag black lives matter movement. Hashtag all lives matter would not exist if hashtag black lives matter didn't already exist. Like do you guys understand that? All lives will in fact matter when black lives begin to matter. So let me get this straight. It has already been established that our very society was built on white supremacy and privilege and that the majority of white people are able to live their lives unaware of their privilege but this is what I can't seem to wrap my head around we are considered to be of less value I'm sorry less little to no value because we have more pigmentation in our skin take a minute to process that logic I'll wait couldn't think of anything? Yeah, that's what I thought. Many of you guys are smart. No one chooses their race. Obviously. We have no choice but to live with what we've got. And despite all the terrible things that are happening to my brothers and sisters every single day, some black people like me would never, ever change their race if they even had a choice. So why classify yourselves as superior to someone else for reasons which they can't control? And what possible justification can there be for taking the lives of others because of the shade of their skin because of their darkness like what did we really do to you is it because i don't show up in most of your pictures like is that it is it because you can't always see me coming at night is my melanin my offense to you because if i do understand correctly violence brutality and division are the methods of which white people have obtained everything they've gotten in history first nations people jewish people arab people hispanic people black people in our motherland and in yours and now in north america I really don't need to further explain this point. And yet we are labeled with these very traits every single day. And we strike fear into so many of you ignoramuses who follow us in stores like a hawk because we may choose to wear a hood. Who ask if the nice car we drive actually belongs to us. Who are surprised when we prove to be equally articulate if not more so than you. Who say things to us girls like, Wow, you are so pretty for a black girl. You are just so exotic looking like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Like, can I, can I touch your hair? No. Oh, oh so I can? Oh, I can? Okay, great, thanks. How do you even wear makeup? Like, do they even do that for your people's, like, your people's shade? It comes that dark? You, you people, you people do that? Um, I'm pretty sure your skin isn't, it's too dark to wear makeup. Like, do they even make it for your shade? Like, like, like what? I don't, I just don't get it. Like, I'm pretty sure there are some products you can use though um, to lighten your skin because I know they make it for, for lighter skin than yours, but you know, yours, yours is too dark though. I kid you not, every single one of those things has been said to me at least once. To all my black girls out there who don't already know, it is not a compliment. I don't care if they say that it is, it's not. It is racism disguised as a compliment. There is no such thing as pretty for your race. Some of you might think that some of the things in this video are irrelevant, and they might be to you because you are blinded by your privilege and refuse to see what is so important to so many others. The lighter your skin, the higher you are ranked in this society. It was literally manufactured for you to succeed, but at least try and see things differently. Try to learn something. All changes begin with one different mindset. And where I stand on all of this has to stem from the word of God. Luke 6 31. Do to others as you would like them to do to you. It's honestly that simple. Now I may not have spent the duration of this video discussing the gravity of how my brothers and sisters have literally been killed to this day. There is nothing I have said here that is of minimal importance. I don't care what race you are. Stop, just stop killing us. Because let's just be honest about something. We can say, we can say hashtag black lives matter until kingdom come as many times as we want and try our hardest to make it known to you that our lives are not meaningless. Try our hardest to make this movement resonate in the minds of these police officers that are treating us like L like we're animals, like literally like we're animals. In places like the US, there are animals that get better treatment than we do. But at the end of the day, God gave us free will and people are going to think and do whatever they want to think and do, whether or not it is ethical, whether or not it is just, whether or not it is humane, whether or not it is right.
all lives will matter when black lives matter.